today is about so oh, I like that Asia. Asia said the unknown, unknown. Today is about the dark side. Everybody. Everybody's a suspect. Keisha said transparency. Everybody's a suspect. That's what today is about. Let me tell y'all how I got to that. Let me tell y'all how I got to that, right? A lot of people may listen to me on the air. A lot of people watch me just Zoom, TMZ, whatever, follow me. And I have this image or brand of whatever y'all perceive, uh, perceive me to be, right? But everybody's a suspect. Everybody's a suspect. So when I got up this morning and I was like, God, I want to repeat yesterday and all of this, I, I check my I check my DMs, right? And I usually don't check my DMs until like after I get my day uh, rolling, right? And um, my DM was from somebody that said, man, thank you so much that the word was so good yesterday, X, Y, and Z, all of this good stuff, right? I'm trying to go to it so I can find it. Hold on. Uh, I ain't gonna say who it was though. And the person said, uh, man, keep letting God use you. Your devotionals be right on time. Hey, man, what up, Curtis? What up, Joe? Right? And I'm like, yeah, 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 right? This, I'm reading this on my, my DM this morning. And I woke up and I opened my eyes and I was like, God, I, I, want, I want today to be a repeat of yesterday. Yesterday, all good things happened. Everything was flowing, blah, 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 blah. blah. Right. And the person says, um, where do you get your daily devotion from? Right. The person said, where do you get your daily devotional from? Or does it just come up when you wake up? Right. Where do you get your daily devotion from? Or does it come up when you just wake up? Now, my response was, yo, and this is real talk. Now, Joel on here, he's a pastor and he preaches on Sunday. I, Joel, if you can turn on your mic, I don't know how you get your word, right? But for me, I sleep on my back. When I wake up, take a deep breath. Thank God that I'm actually here. And I get another opportunity. And I just go into whatever my thought is. And then I pull up a scripture and I come up with a catchy title. And I actually replied to her and I actually said, now, here's the difference, right? So, yes, my answer is I get my devotion from when I first wake up. I don't know how y'all getting your devotion. I don't know how you getting your word. I would love for y'all to turn on the mic and share because we got different ways of doing it. Joel, if you want to talk about how you get your word on Sunday, that's cool. But some of mine is the wit of being a radio personality, like the title or thumbnail or like some of that comes from the personality in me, right? Um, but my word is the word and I get the word from the Bible, right? Um, so, why I got this suspicious person right here, right? And so, again, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. So when I woke up, I said, man, I wanted to get a repeater yesterday. I want all the good energy. I want everything to flow, everything. And God gave me, Mark, everybody, everybody's suspect, right? And the only thing I could come up with, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna try to show it to y'all. I don't know if it's gonna let me be great today. It's not gonna let me be great. It ain't gonna let me do it. It might. There you go. Can y'all see that? Y'all can't see it. All right. Let me just read. It's my notes on my iPhone, right? And I wrote, everybody a suspect. That's the first thing I wrote this morning. All caps is involved. Man, I wish y'all could see this. Everybody a suspect. So I pulled up the word suspect. And in the form of a noun, in the form of a noun, the word suspect means a person thought to be guilty of a crime or offense. Yes, yes or no? Sounds good? And then that wasn't good enough. That wasn't good enough. So I went to the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I had to go to the verb or the adjective. I went to the Urban Dictionary for the word suspect. And when we say he's sus, she's sus, they sus, what do we mean? Urban Dictionary says suspect is an extremely sketchy individual or situation that raises suspicion 
or any comment made by an individual that causes uncertainty and or awkward situations. That sounds like a better definition of suspect, don't it? I don't know why the Urban Dictionary definition is better than the Webster's dis dis definition of the word, but doesn't that sound better? A suspect, right? Sketchy individual or situation that raises suspicion. Now, Webster says a person thought of to be guilty of a crime in the form of news. Yeah, I get it, right? And so today, oh, let me say this. That's all I got. Woke up at 4 o'clock, 4.40, and that's all God gave me. That's all I got. I don't know where y'all get your devotion from. I don't know how you get your devotion. I don't know how God is speaking to you. I thank God for this Zoom. But I literally laid there. My heart was racing. My eyes got teary. This this morning, real talk. And I said, God, that's it. That's it. I ain't got a script. Listen, hold on. Look, y'all can't see it. I don't have I don't have nothing else on here. I just got the definition, right? I don't have a scripture for it, right? Now, going back to my story, when the person hit me in my DM and was asking me, said, man, your devotional, Marcus, is always on time. Thank you for it. How do you get it, right? And my answer was, I get it as soon as I wake up. A part of it is like the thumbnail and the catchy slogan and maybe the jokes surrounded by word and scripture. That's how I get it, right? Um, but I said, hey, I kind of draw from my life from people and everybody's a suspect, right? So my question of the day, and I don't have scripture. Anybody know a scripture? When we trust in people and when you're depending on people and you look into people for your inspiration, how do you or where do you draw from? Keisha, Curtis, Inez, what do you actually draw from? Joe, when you're doing your word, how do you know who to trust, right? Right, because I literally, and I wake up, when I, for me, when I wake up, I open my eyes and I thank God that I'm here. And it is what it is, whatever comes, comes, right? And so I was like, man, I don't know who to look to, right? So who does the pastor, I ain't your pastor, right? But who does the pastor look to? Now it's easy to jump on here and say the word of God, right? But what if y'all are like me and we don't know the word of God like that, right? We got to learn and we got to journey. Yes, yes or no, y'all with me? So my question is more internal today. Thank you, Keisha. Um, and I hope it's making sense, right? But do y'all put y'all faith in man? Tell the truth, right? Is, is your only source, Marcus, is your only source somebody else's inspiration? Maybe I get up and listen to T.D. Jakes. Maybe I go back and watch my pastor's sermon on Sunday. Right. Maybe I rewatch my zooms, which I'll encourage y'all to go watch them. Right. But like when I'm doing the zooms, I'll say, I'll say, yo, somebody dropped the scripture on there. Because it ain't, I don't want you to think I'm making it up. I ain't trying to be suspect. Right. So the question for real, and I, I listen, I ain't got no notes. The question is, where y'all drawing your inspiration from? Where you, how do you, how do you do your daily devotions? Um, where you serving, where you worshiping, where you like, because I want to know for me, is everybody a suspect? Is everybody suspicious? Is everybody trying to take, yo, is everybody trying like this person sent me that message and said, Marcus, where you get your stuff from? Right. And I'm sure the person could literally go on Instagram, go on YouTube, grab what I'm saying out of my jokes and comments and do it for themselves, right? Now everybody's suspect. Now I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to turn into. Turn, turn to. What about y'all? I don't want to make this about me today. Where are you drawing your inspiration from? I, I, I ain't got nothing else, I promise. Thank you. Who is this? It says... Squirrel, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is 
good and pleasing and perfect. Joe, do you wake up and read a word every day? Or do you kind of watch maybe a YouTube video? I just kind of, I want to know. So, uh, so inspiration for me, inspiration comes from a lot of different areas. Uh, when I'm preparing for, let's say the ATM or I'm preparing for, uh, for my sermons, um, the first thing is kind of like what you said, you know, we'll get up in the morning, I pray and I ask the Lord to, uh, if it's like for the ATM or for, for the sermons or whatever, I ask the Lord to give me the words to be able to share today. That's going to make an impact in somebody's life. Right. Um, tell me what to say, tell me what to do. You know, um, you ask me if I, if I read the word in the morning every day, I don't, uh, just be honest with you. I don't, uh, if I feel led to, I do it. If I don't, I don't, you know, um, I have, now there, there's a reason for that because there are because I have enough in my quiver or yeah, well I always say quiver but <laughs> this, you know that's that thing that that's that thing that the arrows hold. Uh, so I more. have enough scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have enough scripture that I can pull from you know on every single day. You know it, that's just in my spirit that I have. Right. So do I do I wake up in the morning and always read my word? No, I don't. Um, but I do pray. So every morning I get up, I pray, I ask the Lord. My me and my friend was talking about this the other day. He was just like, you know, basically what I want to do is when I wake up in the morning, I want to ask God, uh, where are you gonna lead me today? Where do you need me to go? Where you what is it that you want me to say? You know, all those kind of things. And um, and then I pull my inspiration from that. So from that, you know. God kind of drops and will drop something in and then I kind of go from there. I build from there. It may be a scripture. It may be a talk that I've, that I've heard before. It may be, it may be this, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I get inspired by watching this uh, in the morning and, uh, and it makes me think of something else. Um, you know, so it just, it, it, it just, a, it's just a matter of waking up in the morning and asking God to uh, to uh, lead you, and then you being alert to what God is sending you, what God is sharing with you, and then you take that and you share that with whatever it is that you're that you're doing, and that's kind of how I how I build how I build my stuff. Appreciate it, Squirrel. You wrote that that comment. You in Florida? How you do yours every morning? So every morning I get up and uh, first thing I do, I before my feet hit the ground, you know, I'm, I'm thanking God and then kind of try to get a little bit ready for my day. And then I, I, I go to the church every morning and I pray. Um, I wasn't reading a lot of scripture uh, or the Bible you know, on a daily, but um, I've started to listening to this and the, and the things that you you guys have spoken about. Uh, I go and I do a little bit more research on it through the Bible. So it, it inspired me to to do that. And then I bring it into the home and I kind of talk about the little Zoom meeting and the thing in, in the home and, and kind of what I've learned. So I learned something every day with it, which I, I need, you know, to keep to, to keep going, especially like with this, with sketchy people. They're around all the time. I have friends that are sketchy and I just got to learn. I've learned that, you know, when they ask for your shirt, give me a cloak, cloak, you know, give it to them. And, and I've been blessed throughout that. Um, you know, you know, from that, but the main thing is, is I pray, pray through the day, uh, when I'm going through it, or at least I try to, um, you know, sometimes I get angry and things don't go the way they're supposed to, but I, I try to keep in prayer as much as possible. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I need to read the Bible. I don't have as much in my arsenal as some, um, in your quiver, in your quiver. Yeah, in my, I don't have as much quiver in mine as some, uh, but you know, that, that, that inspires me because I want to have that where I have that in my arsenal where I do know that as much as the, you know, the, the next person. Love it. Love it. Keisha, I don't know if you can start on, you got the kids in the back. I don't know if you turn the mic on, but Keisha said the journey of mine has gradually deepened over time. Um, I watched jo Joyce Meyer, which she do, by the way. Uh, Joseph Prince, I've never heard of. I got to check that out. Uh, says, I do go to church, but I'm on high alert and making sure I'm being told the right things. I do read the Bible, not every day, but I'm doing better, right? 
I, I guess as I'm listening to this and we all got our routines, right? And I'm, man, listen, when I tell y'all, I'm so thankful. Uh, Squirrel, I think you said, no, both of y'all said that. Joel and Squirrel said, like, sometimes it could even be this, right? So y'all know I got like three devotionals. And as this has been growing and as I've been leading more on here and we're conversing more on here, I'm actually technically writing my own devotional because I actually write out my scriptures and I write my topics and I, I do this daily and, it, and it's growing me um, as far as my study, right? Now, I think it's cool because whatever I'm writing, I got to actually be able to articulate. So it's making me learn the scriptures even more. So it's definitely helping me. But the question now, Shana, Dana, I mean, Danny, Adrian, Georgina, Inez, like, if it's not for this Zoom, how else are we getting poured into? Or how else are we starting our day? How else are we doing our devotion, right? Because what happens when that one source that we got, internet not working, YouTube fail you today, right? We watching Joyce Meyer, like whatever, when that fails, right? Now every, got it, suspect. I got, I got my hand up, Mark. Go for it, bro. Hand up. Go for it, bro. Okay. I've been, in, I've been on this walk for, since 95. And what I learned about when I went into recovery, Salvation Army, my uncle told me, he was a preacher, he say, read the whole book of John, and the Bible say, hide this word in your heart that you may not sin against him. And I read that book of John so many times, brother, for the whole eight months I was in the Salvation Army. I can't, I can't quote it all, but it's in my heart. And when it's, when, it's a, when it's needed and available, the Holy Spirit gonna bring it up. So the Bible clearly says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I go to church. I hear the word, but you can hear it, hear it, hear it. But if you never receive it and understand it, it'll just be like a, a playbook. But what I'm trying to tell you, you don't have to be the one that can quote that scripture, but he said in his word, if you hide it in your heart and, and, and meditate on it and eat on it like, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, he gonna, the Holy Spirit is your teacher. He's the one that teaches you. He will bring that word up when you need it. Like you say, you get up in the morning, thank God for that first breath, and that's when you're allowing the Holy Spirit to do the work. So that, that's, my, that's my source. I depend solely on the Spirit of God, man. Got it. Georgina, I appreciate you. Georgina, you almost just brought me to a tip, too. She goes, I listen to your prayer on NGN, Marcus. She didn't say Marcus, but whatever. Then she goes, I listen to, then I listen to Joyce Meyer. Oh, Marcus, come before Joyce Meyer. It's going back. Right, right, but then uh, then she says, then I get ready in the morning. I appreciate it, right? Uh, yeah, I just look at it and go, man, what happens when I can't even like? What happens when I can't inspire you, right? So Georgia, like that, that that is powerful for me, right? What happens when the voice go out or I can or like today, man? I ain't God gave me nothing. Today, God was just like, Mark, everything, everybody's suspect. That's what I got when I woke up. And I was like, man, what's going to happen is what I pray, God, is I'm going to get on here and I don't have nothing. I'm trying to articulate, like, how else are we getting it when, when the person you're getting it from might be suspect or don't have something? And I don't want somebody to get off of here and be like, yeah, I wasn't, you didn't inspire me today. So what else are we drawing from? So like when I wake up and I don't have nothing to draw from, y'all, I need somewhere to go, right? I'm just speaking for myself. I need somewhere to go. So like today, I was just like, all right, God, you ain't give me nothing. You ain't give me nothing. Yeah. And I, hey, Marcus, look, I'm going to tell you something, man. There are times, <laughs> times when I do wake up and I ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, and sometimes it just, it just be like that. Sometimes you get up and you don't have anything and being, and it may be because, I mean, there may be different reasons, but I've gotten up and uh, I stopped doing Monday mornings, right? I stopped doing Monday mornings. And the reason why was because <clears throat> after Sunday, you know, because I, you know, because I'm a pastor and I, I, I pastor on, uh, you know, I, I preach the sermon on, on Sunday and then everybody, you know, and then I, I have to 
pastor folks after I preach. And so by the time Monday come around, I'm spent. I ain't got nothing for nobody. So I stopped doing Mondays. I ain't got nothing else for nobody else. I need to be poured into on uh, Monday morning, right? So, yeah. so I, you know, I that's why I stopped doing Mondays. I, I stopped doing Mondays. I only do Tuesday through Friday when I do these things. And and uh, yeah, and sometimes you just have to sit in that. Sometimes it's it's a time for you to be able to sit in silence and just think about and reflect. It, it may not be a time for you to be able to share with somebody else. It may be time for somebody to to pour into you. And what you're doing right now is perfect. You know, you ask the question and people are, are giving you giving you stuff right now. You know, so it, sometimes it'd be like that, man. You know what's crazy, bro, is I, until you just broke it down like that, that's why I don't do Fridays. I didn't even realize I don't do Fridays like that. I, I'm going to tell you why I don't do Fridays. Because after doing it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? And then having the day in front of me and then the gym and then the business and the kids and the relate like by Friday, I just be like, yeah, no. Right. Not, I don't even want to think about trying to inspire nobody. Right. So until you just said it like that now, that, that actually feel good. But then like, I'm sure y'all like, like Shana, Riri, like sometimes God might wake you up and, and, and go like, you need a certain word or you need something to get you going and that source not there. You just don't want to be. Let, let, let's think about this. God created everything in six days. That seventh day, he rested. Sometimes you do got to rest. Sometimes you got to You can think about the things that you've gone through through the whole week. And even though that source may not be there, you got to you got to get in tune with yourself and 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 what where you've been the whole week to to refresh and recharge that battery. Love it. Riri says, I just stay in my, Riri's in Austin, y'all. I just stay in my Bible and I pray in a heavenly language. Whew, that's good right there, sis. I need to get there. She says, I do pray every day and keep my praise and worship music on, although I try to keep up with my Tony Evans app. We got an app. Um, the schedule is everywhere since I do healthcare as well. This is good, y'all, for real, because like, I mean, we all got those moments when, when you ain't got nothing, but you like, it's, what is it? It's 8 a.m. here. Squirrel, Adrian, that might be 9 a.m. where y'all at, right? Yeah, we at 9. Yeah. So? No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah. Uh, like, so what happens when we just wake up and it's like, it ain't there and my source, the source I'm going to ain't giving it to me. So what do I draw? And I guess I got that from when the person was like, man, Marcus, what you doing? I had to listen. Yesterday, I had the perfect answer. Yesterday, it was the question was, where do you get your daily devotion from? Or does it come when you just wake up? I never know where to begin. That was the question. Maybe that was God talking to me. This was right after the Zoom. And it's funny because that person not on today. Right? Um, and I listen. Oh, y'all can't see my screen. Man, I had the longest answer, right? I was like, I had it. This is how I go down. I wake up, I do this, do this. And then I woke up today and I said, God, I want to repeat it yesterday. And I got nothing. And I was just like, man, <laughs> I got nothing. So let me talk to y'all. So I just hope, and I got like eight, nine minutes left. Y'all can use the microphone to inspire somebody. Uh, try reading Proverbs by the date, like August 1st, read Proverbs 1. Ooh. That's actually good. In fact, in my church, we're in the book of Proverbs right now. We're in the book of Proverbs. All right, y'all. Uh, so again, it's crazy because I, we just did this whole thing. I had zero scripture and my girl, Inez, dropped some on here. She should just drop three Proverbs, right? Yes. Uh, Proverbs uh, is the one. Inez said Psalm 42, mm -hmm. 6. 6, 4, 6, 3, 4, 5, and 6. What, Proverbs? Yes. If you can drop it on here real quick, pull it up in your Bible okay. app. Inez dropped uh uh blah, 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 blah. I lost it, Inez. I'm sorry. I lost uh Riri with the hoodie. Go ahead. I was trying to see, uh I was just gonna say that a lot of us I passed by a sign the other day in in, in town and it said, um, keep your Bible in your heart, not on the shelf. Okay. I was 
Like, that's a good one. <laughs> it should be. It should be. It's crazy because if I wanted to just go in on a certain time, I could. I I've been studying so much, and that's why I'm so thankful for this Zoom because it's caused me to study even more. Right? We dropping scriptures, we reading scriptures, and I'm learning even more and more every day. So I'm thankful for this Zoom. I hope y'all be thankful for this Zoom because, like, for some people, this might be. Joe, I think Joe said at the beginning, this might be your morning joint, right? But what happened when the I ain't got the I ain't got the juice today? What happens, right? Or when your devotion, y'all ever read a devotion and that mug just didn't hit today? Right? So what happens? And that's why I was I literally want to get on here and ask the question, man. What happens when everything's suspect? Every nothing's working, right? Everybody's a suspect. Um, so I appreciate. Uh, the answers on it. Yesterday, I got to the end. I'm not posting this one on, on YouTube today, uh, by the way. Uh, yesterday, we were talking at the end. I was telling Why not? You, why? Uh, well, I can because I actually could because we did have scripture on here. I just didn't have a scripture. That's why I wasn't going to post it. But Joel, if you want me to post it, I'll post it. It ain't nothing but some clicks. I ain't tripping. I just wanted to teach somebody. Um, <laughs> Hey man, I, I think it's I think it's good for everybody, man. I think it's it's good to know that you know you're not gonna be on it every day. Yeah, I mean that's life. Like you ain't gonna be on it every day. As a pastor, I'm not on it every day. I ain't got it every day. Like I tell people all the time, there are times there are times where I'm not I you know, I, I like to be vulnerable with my people uh to to the extent that I can be and I let them know like I'm not just because you see me on Sunday morning and I'm and I preach and I preach a good word and all that kind of stuff, that don't mean it happened every day. That don't yeah. have that don't happen every day, you know. And and you know that's through you know study and prayer and reading and you know and, and all of and 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 the and the move of the Holy Spirit because you know he and he'll pull something, he'll share something with me or something that I've gone through or whatever it is and he'll you know he puts all that together for a sunday morning sermon but that's not that's not my life every day you know it's not always it's not always beaches and cream every day and so hey the the i if somebody could post uh psalm 23 psalm 23 is a scripture that uh that is kind of like one of my go-tos uh especially for days like this when you ain't got when you just you're not inspired the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, man. That's, that's, that whole scripture right there. That whole Psalm is all about, you know, just letting the Lord be your guidance, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Letting the Lord provide for you, letting the Lord do what he does in your life. And you just resting in that, you know, and you just flow with it. You know, my, my brother, uh, I got a, I got a, a uh, friend of mine, uh, Todd Foster, he told me the other day, he was like, man, I just let, uh, I wake up in the morning now and I want to be like a sailboat where I just lift up my sails and God, God through the wind blows me wherever he blows me. Ooh. And that's, that's kind of what I want to get to. Yeah. I want to get to the point where I lift up my sails and the wind of God blows me where he wants to blow me. Well, that's so good right there. That is so, so good right there. Um, but that's, hey, on that note, 